In this video, I'm going to show how you can quickly add messaging functionality to your Bubble app. Your users will be able to send messages to other users. They'll be able to search for other users and start conversations with them. They'll be able to pin select messages to the top of their messaging area. And it's fully responsive. You can see here when we reduce the screen size, the elements react accordingly. The first thing you're going to need to do is to grab the responsive messaging 2.0 template. I'm going to put a link to this in the description. Once you have purchased this template, you can create a new app from it. In my case, I already have it installed here. So I'm just going to open it up. You're also going to want to open up the app that you are adding the chat functionality to. In my case, I'm going to be adding chat functionality to this property directory app that I've previously created. So you can see I have it open here. The next thing I'm going to do is just grab the responsive messaging app and bring it into a new window because I'm going to be copying quite a few workflows and elements from one into the other. So you're going to want to have the responsive messaging template open on one screen and then the app you're adding the chat functionality to on the other screen. The first thing we're going to do in our app that we're adding the functionality to is to create a new page and we're going to give this the name chat. We're not going to clone it from anything. You're going to want to set the container layout to align to parent. And in terms of the width for the UI builder, 960 seems to work well for me, but you can play around with this as you please. Before we start moving elements from our chat template into our actual app, what we're going to do is just configure the database. If we look at the database for our responsive messaging template, you'll see we have two custom data types and then also some custom fields on the user data type. What we're going to do is we're going to copy the data type. So copy conversation, go into the database in our property app, go into data types, right click and paste. And you can see their conversation comes in. We're going to do the same thing for message. So we'll copy that, go back to the data types here, paste that in. And then rather than paste in these specific data types, I'm just going to type them in myself. So we're going to add pinned conversations, which is a list of conversations for the user. And we're also going to add in profile image, which is an image. One last thing we need to do for our database is just make sure that under privacy rules for user, view all fields is ticked and find and searches is ticked. This is just to ensure that when users are searching for another user to message, they can find them. Now that we have our database set up, we're going to copy over some styles. So you can change the style of the messaging functionality as you wish, but just make sure it looks consistent as we set it up. I'm going to copy all of these styles, which are in the responsive messaging template over to the styles of my directory app. And again, it's as simple as right clicking, copying, and then going down through them all and paste. I'm going to speed through this. We're nearly ready to start copying in the actual elements themselves, but just two more things we need to do very quickly. The first is if we go back to our design tab, what we want to do is we want to set the type of content on this page to be in conversation. And then secondly, what we want to do is go into the settings tab of our bubble editor, go into general and ensure that this advanced option down here expose the option to add an ID attribute HTML elements, ensure that that's ticked. Now that we've that all done, we can start copying the elements themselves. If we go back to our responsive messaging template, you'll see that there are really three main pieces of content on the page itself. There's the pop-up login, which is where users can log in or sign up. There's the group chat, where a lot of the heavy lifting is done in terms of the conversations. And then there's a floating group slider, which is this little responsive menu down here, which is mostly meant for use on mobile devices. I'm only going to deal with the group chat section in this tutorial because I'm going to assume you already have a login section in your bubble app. And then this is really option here, floating group slider. You can put it in if you want, but there's no need. So we're going to copy with workflows. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to select the group itself, which we've done here. You're then going to go to edit. You're going to go to copy special, copy with workflows back into our directory app. And then we're going to go to paste special, paste with workflows. And you can see everything has come in there. A couple of things we're going to want to fix up. First of all, if we click on the page itself, 
what we want to do is reduce the min height down to zero just so it takes up the necessary amount of space and no more the next thing we're going to want to do is deal with these six issues that have cropped up and these have all cropped up because a lot of the workflows associated with the responsive messaging template are based on you going to the page index that's not relevant here we want to send them to the chat page because that is what we've called this page where we're building in our chat functionality so we're going to click on that and then we're going to go down through these five issues here and they're all the same instead of sending the user to the index we're sending them to the chat page you'll see if we go back to our responsive messaging template that there's four workflows here that are on the page itself rather than on the groups we've copied over so we're going to need to manually put them in so the first one we're going to do is going to recopy this one in here so we'll go in there right click and paste and again much like last time instead of sending the user to the index page we're going to send them to the chat page and that should get rid of those errors there you will see at the very end that we have a scroll to entry null what we want to do for this is we want to change that to repeating group messages chat on its first item so you can see all our errors are gone there for the second workflow we are going to copy this we're going to make one change so you can see at the moment what's happening is when the user is logged out they're showing them the pop-up login on the responsive messaging template we don't need to do that because like i said i've assumed in this case that you've already built a sign-in page so instead of showing null what we're going to do is we're going to go to navigation and we're say going to go to page sign in the third one here is quite straightforward we're going to copy that paste it in here and you can see here we're getting one error that is because we again need to put in repeating group messages chat and that should sort that and then we want to scroll to a particular element and you'll see again the element is repeating group messages chat so we'll once again choose that and we'll put it in one more time and you can see again that has made that error go away for the last one we don't actually need to deal with this because this is only relevant for the slider which is that little element down on the right hand side here so that is not relevant for our purposes and then button demo is logged in that's only relevant for the demo not relevant for our live application so that's it it's really that simple we're going to go and preview this now what i might do is just run this as one of the users i have saved down in my database so I'll run it as michael scott at dundermifflin.com and you can see here michael scott does not yet have any messages but what he can do is he can create a new message and you can message any one of the people here you can see here jim halford is one of the potential people we can message and i can message him say hi jim press the send button here and jim's going to get that message you'll notice at the moment that there are no pictures uh, in the database for a profile image i could change that very quickly so i just uploaded an image for pam beasley and we'll see now that when the michael scott user messages her which you can do by searching for pam you can see your profile image comes up there so again you can either put in the images via some sign up flow or however you choose but that goes in nicely as well so that's it that's how you add chat functionality to your bubble app if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below